Hi, she was seven. I'm back. How y'all been? I know it's been a little while, but I'm back. Okay, so I had a bunch of topics that I was trying to figure out which one I'm going to do. So, out of the few topics that people have requested, um, I can only do um, one because I'm not experienced with um, some of these questions because I never lowered my standards that low in order to, <laughs> I'm not making fun of y'all, but I never had that low of a standard to have to deal with these type of issues. So I don't think I'm qualified to give advice on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip through some of these uh, requests and I'm going to go straight to uh, <laughs> the ones that I am familiar with. Um, let's see. Okay, so my choices were dating men who have kids, uh, how ambitious women can be good girlfriends, and how to love yourself in order to attract more love to you in your life. So I'll just cover, um, I can kind of touch on the ambitious woman and the how to love yourself because, um, like when I first met my husband, I was in my career. I was, you know, I was looking for, um, you know, I was all about work at that point. I spent 14 hours a day at work and I was, you know, okay. So let's just, and I was very ambitious. I was not going to accept anything less than what I knew I deserved. Okay. I worked around funeral directors. I worked around men with money who owned, you know, funeral homes, and y'all know that's big bucks, right? So I was working around millionaires. I was working around people like, um, you know, very important people and blah, 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 blah. So I wasn't just going to be dating anybody, right? So uh, I was an ambitious woman at that time in my life. Um, and for me, I had to date older men because I could not find a man on my level at my age doing the things that I was doing. So I had to date up. I had to date older because if I dated guys my own age, you know, they were still out playing around. They they hadn't gone to school yet or they were still in school or, you know, they weren't about their career. They were more about, you know, you know, a job this week and a job next week, job to job. I had to get a career man and there was not that many career men my age out there that you know was looking to date like seriously so i had to go for an older guy which ends up being my husband okay so i think ambition ambitious women should go for older men or men who are already established financially this helps them to not overpower or emasculate their partner okay if you're overly ambitious woman and your partner's the same age and he's not as ambitious or successful as you it's going to backfire soon okay he's going to start feeling less masculine he's going to start looking at women who will make him feel more manly who aren't as ambitious or you know competitive so i say go for older or rich okay um they can teach you things they can help you get to certain places in your career faster because they've been around longer. They have more connections if you're that ambitious type of woman. Um, most of the time, older guys are not in a rush, you know, to uh, pressure you into things because, you know, they've lived, they've lived life. They're not, you know, they're not like all hyper and like, are, are we going to hook up? You know, they're not, they're more smooth. So, yes, ambitious ladies, the best boyfriend to have is either a very rich one or one who is a little bit older and established, okay? If you're dating someone your own age, good luck with that, um, especially if you are ambitious because you might leave them behind and, you know, you don't want to have them play catch up with you, you know, try to c compete against you because in instead of being a partner, then you become their competition. Okay, and I know a lot of people say, well, you're supposed to push your spouse and you're, pu you're supposed to push them, you know, blah, 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 blah. But eventually that guy is going to be, you know, get tired of being pushed by you. And he's going to want to feel like a man, you know. So he's going to go find someone less than you and less than him 
that can make him feel manly and masculine like he's the man and he's going to be like well you know you make me feel so manly and important like i'm needed and like i can teach you things so you don't want to date someone less than you or that you're going to excel past faster and you already know it so um you know unless you are in that role on purpose like unless he's like the house husband and he's comfortable with that or you know the um the artistic type that's never going to um be a millionaire and just you know maybe by luck or chance but he's not you know thriving in that direction and you are okay with it you know if unless you're okay with it you know i don't suggest dating any guys that aren't on your same level or higher okay but to be a good girlfriend if you are and you're trying to make it work you're gonna have to downplay yourself a lot you're gonna have to hold your tongue a lot you're gonna have to step back a lot you're gonna have to let him shine more sometimes in front of his friends and family you're you know you're gonna have to be less controlling you're gonna have to not be his competition but be more his supporter instead of um, you know saying well I make this much money how much do you make or you know or I got a raise so you didn't get a raise oh you know or you know I have to work I don't have time for you this weekend I'm so sorry I don't have time I'm flying out tomorrow I'm busy you know a lot of those things can um, you know damage how you know the guy feels about himself as a man so you're gonna have to act you're gonna have to act like when you get around him and his friends and stuff and you, when you have to act you're gonna have to act like the feminine non-competitive woman that's his cheerleader y'all know that song Ooh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader you have to be like that um, and you know he knows who you are he knows what you can do and what you, how ambitious you are he'll love that you're supporting him and then he'll you know throw you a bone he'll say oh well, she's so smart too she's really good at what she does too you know he'll start bragging about you so you kind of have to act you kind of have to support him you have to be his cheerleader you can't it can't be all about you and what you've done and what you've accomplished and how great you are and the raises that you've got and da, da, da. can't be all about you you have to act and you kind of got to push your ego down a little bit if you're an ambitious woman you know in a relationship you know you gotta have to play the feminine role and just let him t do all the talking most of the time unless you know uh, the spotlight is on you okay don't interrupt him when he's speaking don't be like well you know what I I you know a lot of women who are very ambitious find themselves correcting other people too much and they don't even realize it because you know they're so used to working and you know suggesting ideas to their co-workers it just becomes habit and you're so used if you're like in charge of people at work you're so used to bossing people around so you're gonna boss everybody around it's just gonna be like a second nature so you have to kind of step out of that zone adjust once you get off work and just step into your more feminine shoes and your more supportive role and your more nurturing role as female okay Okay, so I'm gonna do I have time to cover the last one. Yeah, okay, so uh, I'll cover uh, how to love yourself in order to attract more love to you. Now, this is the biggest issue with women these days. Women like no one loves me. They just want to use me. No one sees me as wifey material. No, no. Um, a lot of women I know or see on Facebook, they're always catering to other people. They're always um, giving time to other people you know, uh, doing things for other people instead of themselves. If a man sees you doing a lot of things for yourself, taking care of yourself, you know, making yourself look good, dress good, your home is taken care of, your apartment is taken care of, wherever you live is taken care of, you know, your skin is soft, your skin is moisturized, you, you're, you know, your, your teeth are nice. Um, that shows self-love because you're taking care of yourself. If you uh, dress nice, the clothes you wear, you know, do they fit right? You know, because a lot of women will just buy some tight clothes to try to get attention from guys. Uh, but that's not really self-love. Self-love is buying nice pieces of clothing that make you feel good about yourself, not to get attention from other people. So if they see, um, like, let's just say they see somebody in a tight-fitting spandex dress and some heels on, 
and you know that's like okay that's to, that's to get male attention we know that but say they see an, an, a lady in a nice outfit that looks expensive and designer like she wore the outfit just for herself you know like she's not trying to impress men this is what she like she you know went to the store she had a sales associate help her find some really nice classic you know chic clothes that are just very high fashion this or you know you don't even have to spend a lot of money you can you have dupe looks you know uh, a blazer a nice pair of jeans uh, a what do you call a midi skirt um, you know a nice mock neck shirt you know kitten heels or you know heels that aren't just so like club like uh, something that says you know I bought this for me because I think it's pretty and this is not for every man to look at who doesn't really admire you know style so let's let's get some uh, celebrity examples okay so we know the shows love and hip-hop you know how they dress on some of those shows and you know all their stuff is out and then you have the classier ones who dress in nice designer they don't show all of this and they're just you know there's a difference between classy and trashy so if you look trashy that's not really self-love you want to try to look more classy like if he took you right when he met you to take to meet his mother that outfit would be appropriate okay uh unless you're like in a beach or something like that y'all know but basically dress for yourself don't dress for men Okay, dress for how you, you know, what your style is, what you admire, you know, accentuate, um, you know, the, the parts of your body that you love with classic, nice, clean pieces that say, hey, I love myself. I'm going to dress myself, not trying to get attention from men, but because I like this outfit. And men notice that. They, they like, oh, yeah, that's wifey. When they see a, a lady nicely, classically dressed, oh, that's wifey. Um, but they will go for the other girl because they want sex from her. But the the one that's dressed nice, that loves herself, is going to get the flowers, the candy, the courting, the dates. Okay? That's what she's going to get because he knows that she already expects that out of a man. So if he even dares approach, he has to come correct. Okay? So love yourself more. It's going to teach other people how to treat you, even women. Women are not going to talk trash about you. As much as they would if you didn't love yourself you know um, so you got you know it's it's respect the more you respect yourself the more people will respect you the more you love yourself the more people will uh, want to love you okay because they can't come incorrectly because they know you're not gonna settle for less than how you treat yourself so let's just say okay um, Let's just say you drink Starbucks coffee every day. They're not going to bring you some cheap, you know, 50 cent coffee from the gas station. They're going to bring you Starbucks. Okay. Let's just say you uh, like a certain type of music and, you know, they're not going to say, hey, you know, they're not going to turn on the music you don't like because they know. Okay. It's just you, you teach people how to treat you by how you treat yourself. Okay. If you're walking around trashy with house slippers on, sliding your feet with um, a bonnet on your head and pajamas in the store, they already know you don't love yourself. And they already know you don't care what you know about your appearance or the level of respect people have for you when you go out in public. They know. They know. They know you will settle for anything. You'd be happy to get anything. And so they're not going to give you their best. They're going to give you their worst. But if they see you all cleaned up and nice and pretty, smelling good, looking good, hair, nails, makeup, you know, classy outfit on, um, you know, uh, clean car, they're going to treat you like that. They're going to treat you how you treat yourself. They're not going to, they're not going to even approach you the same way. They might not even approach you at all because they're not together themselves and they just saved you a world of trouble, okay? So the men that will approach you, they already 
know that they can impress you. They already know that they have what it takes to, you know, date someone like you. They already have uh, a lot of the standards that you probably have from it. So they're going to approach you and it might be few, but the quality is better than the quantity, okay? When I used to hang out, I used to dress up really nice and not that many men would approach me because they couldn't afford to approach a woman like me. But the ones that did, they, you know, they were the ones that I would consider and I ended up marrying one. So ladies, love yourself and you will attract people who will love you and treat you the same way as you treat yourself. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe and share this video. I'll see y'all later. Bye.